Previously, the superficial and intermediate muscles of the back were dissected. Next, the erector spinae muscles were removed from the thoracic and lumbar vertebrae. In this video, I will demonstrate how to expose the meningeal layers of the spinal cord and the spinal cord itself. There are three dissection objectives. First, I will perform laminectomies from T7 to L3 and expose the dura mater. Second, I will dissect the meninges. And third, I will dissect the spinal cord and its associated structures, including the roots, dorsal root ganglion, and spinal nerves. The first two objectives are shown in this video. The third objective will be shown in the second video of this two-part series on exposing the spinal cord and its associated structures. Let's begin. We have removed the erector spinae and now cleaned up the spinous processes of the thoracic and the lumbar vertebrae. The next objective is to cut off the spinous processes with my bone shears and this will allow me to use my saw to then do laminectomies on the lamina of the um, vertebrae. I will remove the spinous processes now and this takes considerable force sometimes even with these nice bone shears you can see what I'm doing is basically just cutting through the spinous processes and I get to the lumbar spinous processes they tend to be thicker and just more robust and requires me to apply much more force and I'm really struggling with most of my force right now but at this point I am finished and I can cut through the last bit and now we have removed all the spinous processes in one piece after removing the spinous processes we're now ready to do the laminectomy I will use the saw uh, to cut through the laminas first on the left side I will stop the camera and then do the right side and then proceed. I will start now. Okay, we're now finished doing laminectomies on the left side. We'll move the camera and do it on the right side. And this looks like we're finished. As you notice, the scoliosis did give me a little trouble in finding the lamina when I got to the lumbar region. That's to be expected. Having finished laminectomies, I will now use a hammer and a chisel to remove the remaining laminas from You can now see the dura mater below.
as you can see as I go more inferiorly the size of the lumbar vertebrae are more difficult to disarticulate or crack with the chisel Now we have removed all of the laminas from the vertebrae and you can see that this tissue that we're looking at is the door mater. We will now remove the door mater and look at the spinal cord. Having exposed the door mater, our goal now is to make an incision through the dora and you can just see that I did not press hard enough there we go that's why it's called the Dora Mater the hard layer it is good to have help with this step of just peeling back the two sides of the Dora but what I'll do here is just do this with forceps and now you can see this shiny material right in there that is the arachnoid that's where the CSF resides deep to the arachnoid I will pierce it with forceps, I'm sorry with a probe and I'm showing you the subarachnoid space right now. At this point we will need to dissect out much more of this area but I will not be able to film that because it's fairly microscopic Instead, I will dissect it and take some pictures of it, and I will label those and show them in the film. This concludes this first video demonstrating how to expose the spinal cord and its outermost meningeal layers. In the second video that follows, I will demonstrate the details of the spinal cord and the associated structures.